Hi there, it is Igor from St. Petersburg. I'm a Russian man who learns English language uh, to fluency, yes, from my beginner level. And today we're gonna watch one video by uh, who did it, uh, who did, who did it? Eric Conover made it, uh, have made it, yes, and has made it. And today we're gonna do like correction, like a watching together, please use your water before your flight and today we're gonna fight with this video yes and eric Knover, thanks so much for sharing your video and uh, let's start watching it it will be maybe interesting maybe not but i hope that yes it is uh, what not to do in new york city let's jump into it this video was brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. This little town. Nice shot. No matter how many times you have been to New York, the city can always overwhelm you with the crazy amount of things to experience. Unfortunately, lots of people spend their time and their money on the wrong things. Without any ado, this is my comprehensive expert list of things that not to do, oh, yeah, well, of what not to do, so you can make the most of your time in New York City. Now, one thing that I want to be clear about, this video is not intended to be a negative review of New York. I love this city, and I want to share with you some of the things to avoid, so that you can... So many people we can find in New York, I want to say that uh, in Russia we have not so many and so big amount of taxis here you can find, yes. I know that in Moscow we have many taxis, but uh, on St. Petersburg we don't have so much, but here it is so many. And fully spend yeah. your time experiencing the best that NYC has to offer. We're at Times Square. Every New Yorker can agree when you actually live in New York City, you avoid Times Square at all costs. I mean, you only really go there if you work there or you have a meeting there. It's not a casual place to hang out. While I do believe that everyone should experience Times Square at least once in their life, it's not the kind of place to make a day out of. The sheer amount of people in one tiny space, the food is overpriced, and you're surrounded by Disney characters trying to make a buck off you. There's nothing wrong with it. If you do get a photo with someone hustling on the streets, remember, like your mom taught you, always, always be respectful and leave a tip. Go for 10 minutes, take your selfie, gawk at the bright lights, and get the hell out of there. All you need is 10 minutes, and that is your Times Square fix for life. You don't need to come here and spend a day in Times Square. I mean, poor Mike Sheffer's been here for what, an hour and he's going crazy. Get me out of here. As an alternative. In Russia, we have uh, some kind of places, but uh, it is not so crowded like uh, Times Square. In Russia, we have places with informal people, like uh, people who are, uh, who, uh, who are uh, one moment I will describe. It is like a do you know subcultures ammo, like uh, somebody who likes. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, ammo, yes, uh, you know ammo. It is uh, pink and tr uh, pink and black. One more person. It is uh, one more subculture. It is goats. Goats. It is blackish people and uh, not black like uh, a racism thing black means uh, that black uh, black clothes and different tools and we have the same situation in Russia in some in some moments but uh, Times Square I think that it is uh, job jobish jobish place for every redneck who wants who wants to make money to Times Square, check out Bryant Park. It's only a few blocks Times away Square from looks Times like Square, a right next to the public Red library. Square. You'll still get your fix of that midtown hustle feel without all the crazies. Avoid chain restaurants. You've been walking around the city all day. Oh, well, Fridays, we have uh, the same in Russia. And you are so far past the point of hungry, so you walk into that first chain restaurant. That and you this see. too. Do not do this. The golden rule 
is if you can eat there at home, you should avoid eating there in the city. You didn't book that trip to New York City to come and eat at your favorite fast food restaurant. Rather, make your way downtown, away from all the chaos, and find something local. In New York, you could eat in a different restaurant every single day, and it would still take you 65 years to eat in all of New York City's 24,000 restaurants. Avoid the franchise restaurants, don't be distracted by the bright lights, get out of Times Square, and go find something that New York City is known for, great restaurants. Okay, what did I learn? That if I will be at New York, need to avoid uh, franchised restaurants like McDonald's, Starbucks, uh, Fridays, maybe El Patio. I don't know. Do you know El Patio or not? Else, uh, what's kind of uh, KFC? Yes, you know, KFC, it is uh, some chicken uh, wings. And uh, <laughs> in Russia, what, uh, what do I want to say? I want to say that in Russia you should avoid uh, places so unfranchised. Unfranchised means that you will have food with poor quality. Maybe in New York you have something like this, hot dog stand, or maybe a shawarma stand. Do you know what is shawarma? Shawarma, it is a roll. And in Russia you should avoid it uh, if you are not in center because if you are not in center you have big opportunity you have the biggest chance to find a chance to find something not really good quality okay let's let's check next the sidewalk in New York is like an actual highway and there's a certain set of rules for walking on the sidewalk here First, you should never stop abruptly in the middle of the sidewalk. If you do, people will bump into you. Do not stop walking to check your phone, maps, or gawk at the tall buildings on the middle of the sidewalk. Also, avoid walking in the bike lane. Mm -hmm. And avoid jaywalking. Jaywalking? What is jaywalking? Jaywalking. Rather, if you have to check your phone, simply stop and walk off to the side out of the way of all the foot traffic and check your messages there. We too. All over Midtown, you'll see signs for bus tours around the city. While the tours do take you through the majority of the city and offer wow. some amazing nice beauty shot. points, it's only for a passing moment in traffic or not moving in traffic at all. There's crazy long lines in the summertime. In the winter, you'll have the bus to yourself for good reason. Uh, you're exposed to the elements and it can be pretty miserable. Rather than taking a bus around the whole city, Pick one neighborhood in specific, like the West Village, and spend the day exploring that one specific spot rather than spreading yourself too thin over the city. Design your own tour that is much more immersive in the city rather than just pure sightseeing. Avoid renting a car. Okay, what's uh, previous was about? Uh, it is not used so much uh, bus or what? Uh, one moment, need to check again and avoid jaywalking there and check your avoid by store Sam. Huh? okay 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 i just did i will be thoughtful yourself too thin over the city design your own tour that is much more immersive avoid renting a car renting a sounds car. like a no-brainer but you'd be surprised. Most New Yorkers don't even have a driver's license because a car can be the least effective way to get around the city. Commercial vehicles. Yeah, I I, I learned it from one oh from one video. I watched that uh, on on New York you should use car and you will be so fast. Only that's Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Today's Saturday. So today we're good, especially if you're here on a whim, you can't kind of just go to a place and say, hey, I'm going to park here, because chances are you will get a ticket or you will get towed. Some people will pay $500, $700, $1,000 or more per month just to park their car in the city. Taxis can be good, but they can be expensive. Only rent or bring a car if you yes, have yes. to. Rather, I recommend to take the subway. Okay, but what's the cost of subway? In Russia, subway it is uh, half of dollar. It is uh, fifty cents in Moscow and uh, in uh, in Moscow and in Saint Petersburg. If you will use lo loyalty card, but loyalty card it is for everyone. Don't abuse riding the subway. Ah, uh -huh. it is like you you will go to the police, my man. 
It's cheap and it's easy to navigate once you get the hang of it. Yeah, once you are to navigate. on the subway, do not abuse riding it. There's a set of unspoken and also very public rules. No more than one seat per person, no blocking free movement, no lying down. Wow, we don't have the same... We maybe have, but not so with uh, the biggest font. It is like uh, for people who are who are invalids of uh, of I I C of eyesight. It is for uh, some diseases with uh, eyes. Maybe rules for riding the subway. Number one: Do not hop the turnstile. Pay for the subway ticket. It's good for the city. Let yep. people off the subway before you get on. Oh, we have Don't spread your legs out and put your bag on the seat next. Jesus, look look at the door. Door is so uh, so dirty and nasty. To you, don't lay down flat while riding the subway and don't lean on the poles. More or less, just be very conscious of your space and the space of others. But looks cool. Have you never get out of Manhattan? Get out. Get out, what, what does it mean? One moment, need to Google get out the uh, meaning of, it, of this word. D -d -d become known. Used to express disbelief of something previously secret. Become known. Ah, it means uh, that you should go to Manhattan, yes? Leave Manhattan. Can you really say you've been to New York? Make sure to check out the other five boroughs. Each has their own unique neighborhoods, landmarks, and culture. It is just about 5.30 in the morning. One of my favorite things to do in the city, you wake up at sunrise, especially this time of year in the summer, there's not many people at all on the bridge. You have a beautiful sunrise over there into the wow. east. You have Manhattan over this way, Brooklyn Bridge, Lower Manhattan. Oh, hey, yeah, I went to, today, Brett I went to go there. <laughs> Sit on the bench, really just taking the views of the city, and then go spend a whole day exploring Brooklyn. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and also comment down below what your top things to avoid in the city, if you're from the city or you've been here before. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Squarespace is the best place to build a website and they have award-winning 24-7 customer support. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, meaning there's nothing to patch, nothing to upgrade ever. It's simple. Okay, it is uh, some of the promotion. Nice, nice really uh, guide. I don't know if it, it is true or not. If you are from New York, please write in the comment section if you are agree. If you are disagree, say disagree. But thanks for Eric Conover who did it uh, about me. I'm a Russian man who wants to live uh, in uh, in United States. I will learn my English. I will improve it. I want to improve it. I don't know why. Why do I think that my English is not good? But I think that uh, I should improve more. It is not uh, like a, always we have a road to perfection to, not not perfection for uh, improvements yes and i know that my level of english right now it is level kind of azerbaijanish azerbaijan do you know azerbaijan uh, azerbaijan person in russia and i don't want to be like azerbaijan person in russia I, it means if you are azerbaijan person in russia you are like a person who are speaking who, like a person who is speaking language who speaks the language but uh, yes i will understand this person but it is not like a super pooper duper but i want to be super duper pooper yes in this and uh, i will do my i will continue my journey and uh, by videos like this i i am learning it and uh, thanks a lot for watching you can recommend your own videos if you have such a uh, such of it and uh, I want to learn more about America, about English-speaking countries. It is really interesting to me. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. And don't forget that all depends on Lydia.